And so the initial 11 for Lille. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. This is what we expect from the Blaugrana. Marc-Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Pique starts alongside Samuel Umtiti in the middle of the defence. Arturo Vidal plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And up front leading the line is Antoine Griezmann. And now this Champions League round of 16 first leg begins. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Oh, he's through here. And it's there for him. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, look at this, Derek. Sometimes the opposition are all set up perfectly for you to dribble through them. It's almost like he's playing FIFA. He goes through and puts the ball in the back of the net. It's brilliant. Messi. Now here's Arturo Vidal. Griezmann. And he's made headway. And in it goes. Well, look at it again. I do question the defenders, but let's give credit to him. What a wonderful solo effort. And he still has the presence of mind to finish it off. What a brilliant solo goal. Zeka. Untidy in possession. Set and threading it forward. Griezmann. Messi! Well, it's a procession of goals, and surely there's no way they can let this slip now. Absolutely dominant. Well, we can take another look at this. There's nothing much the keeper can do. Close range finish, really good play, and he doesn't miss from there. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Barca maintain possession, advantage, excellent vision, well it's goal after goal after goal, just no end to this, a brilliant display. Well it's such a good run, it's a great pass, that's so difficult to defend against, it's the movement that causes the problems, lovely goal. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. The corner courtesy of Lionel Messi. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Nelson Semedo has it. Griezmann. And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. We can take another look here. I'm sure the keeper is frustrated with the defending. Just afforded too much time in the box, and he's never going to miss that. A chance to revisit the goal. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, I must say, no short. And he's made headway. And the goal gaping at him. And it's gone in. Well, just look at this. They all back off him, and he takes the advantage. He goes through one, two, three. In the end, it's a wonderful solo goal. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Full time then, and Barcelona will take. 
take a lead with them into the return match. Well, almost job done, another leg to come, but it seemed like they were in total control tonight. The conclusion of this game is yet to come. Most of the hard work has been done. Football's been the winner tonight. A fruitful night for Luis Suarez. Lee, tell us what you saw in his performance. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is. This is what we expect from the Blaugrana. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. A very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. And so the initial 11 for Lille. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. Samuel Umtiti. And a chance for him on the flank. A good and fair challenge. Ikone. Yusuf Yazici with it. There for him, and a goal it is. The opener in this game. Well, keep it tight. That's what both managers would have been insane. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. Well, here it is. A striker's bread and butter. Simple finish, but it's the positioning that gets him the goal. A chance to revisit the goal. might pay dividends and they could do damage and this time it's in well the keeper will be frustrated he thought he'd saved it he's so unlucky there it's a good angle from him as well but it's in the back of the net slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored Well, you can't say, Derek, they didn't deserve it. By far the better team over two legs. All departments of their team was functioning well. The midfield dominated, and up front they were clinical.